Hello everybody and welcome to Energetic Principles Horoscopes for this Leo season. My name is Melissa LaFera and I am an astrologer and tarot reader from San Diego, California. And today we're going to talk about uh, what's in store for this Leo season. So let's get started. And may the stars be with you. All right, Aries and Aries rising. Okay, so what does Leo season have in store for you? Well, this is gonna be a very active month uh, as far as the planets are concerned. So uh, just beware that uh, there's gonna be a lot of juice in that air. Um, and so how does that interact with you? Um, so we're gonna go down some key dates of what to look out for. Um, and uh, just so you're aware of what energies might pop up um, as we have some serious transits this month. Uh, so let's start with the uh, new moons, uh, which we're actually gonna have two new moons in Leo which is a rare thing um, and uh, the first new moon is just your regular old new moon and then our um, second new moon is actually going to be that new moon solar eclipse that will be at the end of Leo um, so what is this these new moon periods gonna bring to you Aries well the Aries are really uh, getting new vitality around uh, their own joy in life and how they express themselves um, to others uh, and uh, what your how much creativity is in your life um, and where you can manifest more of that and uh, really express yourself and share, you know, what it is that, uh, you know, the love that you have to give. Because essentially, uh, it's, it's a love season for Aries uh, where you're going to be really connected with your with what brings you joy in life um, and how you can really share that with others. Um, and it could be uh, definitely a time of romance um, and love affairs that come your way. Uh, and there's just gonna be a new revitalization around that. Um, it's also a very fertile time uh, to revitalize your relationship with your children. Or say if you're trying to have children, uh, this could put energy into place uh, that can make that happen uh, for you. Uh, so just so you you know the first new moon is going to be on July 2nd uh, which is a Sunday um, at zero degrees Leo so we're gonna usher this in with a fresh burst of uh, creative energy for you essentially um, and then at the end of the month when we wrap it up with that solar eclipse uh, which will be on Monday August 21st uh, you're gonna get your second boost in this area which is going to provide um, new energy in your life that you're probably gonna see uh, your creation start to manifest in about eight uh, to ten months time um, so just know that you're getting this new dose of vitality around uh, your heart's desire and where you find joy in life uh, and where you can really be creative uh, in your surroundings um, so let's move on to the next aspect, which will be happening Friday at uh, August 4th. And that's going to be Jupiter in Libra squaring uh, Pluto and Capricorn. Um, so let's just wait for that motorcycle to go by. I have a very active street I tape on. Uh, but okay, so let's get back to that Jupiter and Libra squaring Pluto and Capricorn. And this has been something that's been building up for a very long time. Um, this cycle has been in place since 2007. And to be honest, uh, for the past, you know, eight years or so, um, you have really been working on your career and your legacy and what it is people see you for and your own social standing. Uh, you've been uh, renewing energy uh, and breaking down structures that no longer work around your job and uh, you know your reputation um, and the recognition that you really want to um, you know, embrace in life. And so with this Jupiter uh, squaring, uh, Jupiter and Libra squaring that Capricorn energy um, and that Pluto energy, um, you're, it's time to grow in partnership. We're gonna be challenged there. Um, and you're going to have to interact with others maybe with a more diplomatic way or something that kind of takes into, uh, you know, that Libra uh, balance that needs to come into um, into line. You know, cause you know, you're an Aries and Aries uh, are kind of 
about themselves and that's okay it's if you're an Aries it's okay to be about yourself but at the same time you got to find that balance of how you interact with other people um, and to really be fair in your dealings um, especially if you it's in a public scenario to where other people see you and it could represent your social standing based on how uh, your partnerships and your relationships are, are working um, so just know that you have a lot of growth and support around partnerships right now and they really are helping you uh, find your place in um, society. Uh, so just even though you might find it challenging to work with others at time, know that your growth lies there. Um, and you could be challenged on that at this time. But these are big cycles and um, it might not be, it might be more of a gradual feeling more than a just psh, it's there. Uh, so just know this, that these areas could come up at this time. Um, so then we're going to move on to another very exciting event that's going to be happening uh, during this Leo season, and that's going to be our full moon eclipse in Aquarius, uh, which is going to happen. Uh, it's going to apex in your area of uh, friendships and, you know, where you um, your social networking uh, in the groups that you're involved with or organizations. Um, chances are there's going to be a release there. You know, there uh, you're going to want to find the right group for you. If you haven't been around the right people and like getting in touch with who can kind of help you in your, uh, especially with your creative pursuits, since it's very much on your mind and finding the joy in life, um, chances are you might have to re um, release certain, uh, you know, release maybe old friendships that don't work any longer or uh, release certain group affiliations uh, that you just don't resonate with anymore or um, you know because something could come up there to where you're very emotional um, uh, around uh, what is happening uh, with this this group of people um, and mostly it's kind of about you know your hopes and wishes because uh, this is a p area of your chart where you can really Get in touch with what it is that you see for yourself and those long range plans. And maybe something you saw for yourself uh, before doesn't really quite fit in that picture anymore, especially if it has to do um, with, uh, you know, other people that you collaborate with um, or, or certain social situations. So you may feel like you want to rebel or be a little distant uh, at this time uh, from the group. You might feel a little distant from your peers. Um, or you just, or just something might kind of might change there because a, a full moon eclipse is always essentially it's apexing something, but it's also releasing something. So you want to ask yourself what you can release at this time. Um, so another part of this is like an old creative goal of yours actually might be transformed into something new. Like maybe you can uh, release once what it once was and like revitalize it um, into a new state of being. And especially if you find that right people to work with. Um, so just be aware of that full moon eclipse on uh, Monday, August 7th. So uh, be prepared for that. I'll have a full moon video. So check it back around that time. Um, so then we're going to move on to another transit that'll be happening Saturday, August 12th. Um, and that is Mercury going retrograde. Uh, so Mercury is going to go retrograde in Virgo and it's going to retrograde back um, actually into Leo. Uh, interestingly enough, at our uh, eclipse point. <laughs> So there's a lot of energy around this uh, Mercury retrograde period. Um, and so we're, you know, for you Aries, you're really just going to be reviewing, you know, your work and your daily life. Like, what's your day-to-day -day routine look like? Um, you know, uh, is, is your mind happy with that? Are your thoughts helping to uh, facilitate ease in that area? Or are you feeling a little disrupted and things might have happened that you have to reassess during this time um, re regarding, you know, your work life and uh, just your re everyday reality. And also your health, your health might, you might need to uh, rethink, you know, what it is that you're doing uh, to really help uh, facilitate uh, a healthy state of being. Um, so all these considerations might come up now. Um, and you might actually be ready to get a little more like, reassess everything that's happened and then get more organized and, and plan and really discern what it is, um, you know, your thoughts and ideas, because this is a very creative season for you. Uh, and yeah, that creativity is there. However, you have to put um, some, you know, put it in a box a little bit and like put a plan around it so you can execute these grand ideas um, and creative impulses that you may be having. Um, so, uh, you know, just don't, 
beware not to find fault in what it is you're creating this month and you know like see areas of perfectionism that might have to change um in your life a little bit um and where you may focus a little too much on the details or maybe you need to focus a little more on the details uh one of the two you'll know which um and then it will retrograde back into um leo which you know it is a touching, you know, getting in touch once again, reviewing your self expression and where you find joy. And if your mind is in a joyful place. Um, so those two things are coming together to really help boost that creative energy uh, in your life. Once again, you know, how can you master your creative energy and, uh, you know, uh, do the things that you love, but with mastery, like how can you get on board with that? Um, so then I, uh, the last thing we're going to talk about as far as astrology is concerned is Monday, August, uh, sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, August 15th and 16th, when we're going to have Venus and Cancer, uh, squaring Jupiter and Libra and opposing that Pluto, uh, in Capricorn. So I touched on that a little bit earlier, but uh, now we're going to have a T square there. Um, and you know, how, so basically your ways of relating are are still being challenged here, you know, and you, you might experience certain endings um, around uh, old uh, old ways of relating or old relationships that maybe have run their course. Um, so just know that there you might have to be receptive to something just leaving right now, you know, uh, in a sense. Um, so, but the plus side of that is that, you know, when you're really getting in touch with your joy and what it is you love and you're reworking your mind and you're doing all these considerations, um, you're kind of building up this new emotional foundation and this new way to open and yourself up and socialize um, from a more uh, solid position um, in a sense and to not let emotions get into uh, your ability to relate with others you know uh, you can use them positively but if they hold you back like from the, you know it might be a little different of a story so uh, just know that you know partner partnerships career and your home life essentially are gonna need some balance um, right now and you might want to retreat into them actually you might be over dealing with others and over their career and you're like I just want to kind of hang out at home um, so just know that that can come up uh, right now because things are at a standstill essentially and we are seeking to find cooperation uh, and compromise um, in these areas of our life and for you that's going to focus around um, your home family and your foundation uh, your partnerships and how you relate um, and then your career and your public life and how society views you um, so Aries you have a, a lot going on uh, this uh, you know Leo season but as everybody does essentially so how can you step into your creativity and your heart's joy and really begin to self express express yourself Aries All right, Aries, so what does the tarot have for you? Uh, well, we have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so what does that mean? <laughs> well, for you, Aries, it's really gonna be um, kind of a, a spiritual test this month of sorts. Uh, you're going to be tested around the work you're doing. Um, and if that work that you're doing is centered around a labor of love, in a sense, um, this is your month to really uh, be tested on your ability to master something uh, and mostly master something that it is that your heart is connected with. Um, so if you, any of you are artists out there, artists or craftsmen, or um, you're building uh, in something of material value that you've been working on or want to work on, uh, now's the time where you're really being tested to step into some self-esteem around the issue and have some courage and know that you uh, spiritually have what it takes um, to master your skill and to, uh, you know, put out there what it is that you uh, that you love uh, to do and make and, and and just your work life um, is really getting tested uh, here um, and so you know, like, how can you master your craft is essentially what this is asking of you, you know, do you have the strength to, you know, 
deal with the obstacles, deal with the issues of not, maybe not feeling up for the challenge or, you know, just don't let that fear stand in your way. Uh, if you're really passionate about something and have something um, uh, that you just love to do, um, that you want to become even better at, now's the time uh, to jump in there and to make it happen, make it a reality, put in the hard work and effort. Um, and I think people are going to really respond to you. Um, but people can't respond respond until you take the time uh, and the risk um, to do so. So just know uh, if you might have challenges around uh, creating what it is that you love um, and putting the time to really care and tend for that. Um, but if you do so and you get past this spiritual hump, you're going to be in a much better place doing what it is that you love. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to uh, find out more about me or find where I'm at, you can find me at energeticprinciples.com. And you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Energetic Principles. I also do a weekly podcast, astrology and tarot and inspirational quote podcast with Shauna McGrath of Neo Feminine Astrology. And that is called The Feminine Principle, Astrology for Authentic Living. All right, so I hope everyone has a wonderful Leo season. Uh, and if you like what you see here today, please subscribe to my channel and share with friends. Um, and plus, I'd love to hear your comments and how Leo season is treating you. Uh, so please leave comments down below. Um, so I hope everybody has a wonderful season with the lion. And as always, may the stars be with you.